Nerdlings, look up at the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's wait. What are those first two guys so excited to see a bird in a plane for? Because anyway? they've never seen them. They've obviously lived in a bomb bunker. <laughs> Maybe they've spent all their time living under a box. <gasps> a, well, comic like a comic box. Comic box. Reading comics? Well, speaking of reading comics, guess who's been busy buying comics again? I would get one free. Right Come on. Here. So, again, Tom's here for moral support. Hey, they're pretty covers. You can look at the covers. Well, what did you pick up this time? Well, you all know that I really like my Hawkman and Hawk Girl because the whole Egyptian thing. So this one, I first was drawn to this one because there's a very prominent hot girl on the cover, but then at the top it says, oh, The Death of Hawkman! Oh no! And if comic books have taught us anything, it's that when people die, they're dead for good forever. No. No. Maybe just Uncle Ben. <laughs> oh, yeah, why is he the only one who can't come back? <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway... Um, I have really gotten into the DC bombshells, and I've actually even picked up some of the DC, DC bombshell covers. <laughs> That's a mouthful. This one is not necessarily a bombshell, but it, it's an Aquaman, and it has bombshell Aqua Woman Mara on the front of it. I don't know why I want to call Aqua her Aqua Woman. <laughs> she needs to be Aqua Woman. But anyway, uh, she's just on the cover, so I just thought that was really neat and pretty, and I love the, the Mara Aqua. The, uh, the bombshell line, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, it works so well with the way that they've made the girls look. I yeah. really like that. And that, like I said, they now have their own comics, and I've been picking those up, picking the books up and everything. So, so that one was always fun. So that's why I picked that one up. So, just because the show, sometimes they sucker you into the comic with the cover and it's not what you were expecting. Uh-huh. Here's another fun one that I picked up. It doesn't have Mara on the cover, but it does have Wonder Woman on the cover. So it's Aquaman and Wonder Woman. They're teaming up to go Ooh. fight some stuff. So uh, we'll see how well Wonder Woman can hold her breath underwater, I guess. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is of Earth. It's, she's not, you know, an alien or whatever, so she's... But wasn't she made of clay? Maybe she doesn't need to breathe. Yeah, but clay gets kind of, you know, porous underwater. <laughs> she just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's like they're fighting some uh, some weird demons on they there really too. They really are That's crazy. So I actually um, I'm not really that big into seeking out variant covers, and I know I've already shown off that I've got the new um, Mara series where it's just a six part mini series. Um, but I did pick up the variant cover of this one because I just thought it was really pretty. It's very stylized. It's very soft. Like all the features are very soft about it. And so really I just really thought it was a pretty one. So I went ahead and picked up the variant cover of number one. And um, sometimes it goes to show that uh, it's hard to resist the variant covers because yeah. of how nice they look. And sometimes they don't look good, and you're like, oh, well, I'm not going to get that one. Yeah, sometimes you're uh, very happy with the one that you get. You're like, yes. oh, that's the variant cover? I think I'll keep mine. Yeah. And um, I think I've already showed off number two when it came out, but uh, number three recently came out, um, I believe in April and everything. So that was. That was always exciting. I haven't had a chance to read this one yet because I've been popping over and reading some Deadpools and some Gwenpools. Yeah, you've kind of been all over I've the I've been place. popping all over reading some Grimm's fairy tales, so it's just kind of one of those things. It's like I can't settle down because it's like I, I don't want to feel tied down. I'm just, you know, I've just been having fun. So I do need to go ahead and read this one since it's only six parts. But it's oh. been a good series so far. The first two episodes were really interesting. Of course, uh, anytime any of us growing up with comic books... You know, if you either got them straight from the store or if you subscribe, mm -hmm. you might have had two or three books a month that you would jump back and forth between. Well, anyways, yeah, I mean, so. you kind of have to because it's like now if you're getting into comics, yeah, there's like a ton of series out. <laughs> but, you know, back in the day, if you were reading a series kind of like I am with with the Mara one, I you have to wait for the next month for the next issue to come out. So it's kind of I guess that's why people save their issue or their seasons and binge watch so they don't have to wait. <laughs> So, uh, which... <laughs> Maybe that could be the next thing, uh, some kind of, like, Netflix comic yeah. thing where they just put the whole six-issue series out at once. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, like I said, the good thing about me slowing down on the Mara series is number four is already out. <laughs> <laughs> so, because that, it did kind of suck when I finished uh, the issue number two, 
So I was like, oh crap, I have to wait for three, and I had to wait an entire month. Well, now I don't have to, because, you know. Well, here's hoping that the series has been going on well enough, selling well enough, that maybe Mara will get her own series. I would love for her to get a full-on series all to herself, um, you know, because six is not enough, because she's beautiful, she's awesome, she's very regal, because she's, you know, the queen. And it's always good to have some good, strong female leads in the comics, you know. And uh, Mara is one of those characters that's really changed because I think that you did some research she on her. She actually was bred to murder Aquaman. Uh, so she was an assassin. And they kind of fell in love with each other and she defied her people. And that's kind of what this series is going about. It's um, Aquaman is dead or so we were told did. did yeah and um she is the queen of atlantis now she actually wasn't ever named queen uh, but now she actually is acting queen but uh when this series started she was zapped with some kind of magic that if she goes in the water it almost kills her so it starts off <laughs> with her living on land trying to heal and she has to go fight a water demon and she's not as powerful as she usually is and um her cousin shows up and says or, or actually it's aquaman's cousin and that's where i've left off with is he's beating the crap out of her because she doesn't have her full powers and he's saying he's the rightful ruler of atlantis now that Jeez. but yeah aquaman is dead <laughs> so it's really good it's really cool and she's she can hold her own she was doing well until he threw her in the water and then she didn't do so well <laughs> But, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. And to move on over to Marvel, I just, um, I'm not really a fan of the way Loki looks in the comics. I'm very much a Tom Hiddleston Loki kind of girl. <laughs> but I couldn't pass this one up. It's a very, I don't know how political it gets in there, but it's very much a political, vote Loki! And it's, you know, looks so campaign, you know, I mean, it's so <laughs> quintessential campaign. The, I just thought it looked funny. The flag, the eagle, the fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> so you know he's Loki's even got American. A suit or a, a dress shirt and tie on. That's great. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I thought that one was a lot of fun. And then this one caught my eye because I um, I do enjoy the Scarlett Johansson Black Widow. She's kind of fun. So it kind of made me think maybe I want to look into some of her comics. And uh, this one was just cute because they're giving each other tattoos <laughs> of their symbols. So she is tattooed, she has her symbol tattooed on here, and she's giving him a heart instead of that, the, was it the Russian star? <laughs> so I just thought that one was cute. It's very, um, the uh, Thanksgiving picture. Like the Norman Rockwell? That's thing. what I'm thinking, the Norman Rockwell. It looks very kind of Norman Rockwell-y. So I just thought that was, that was funny. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. And I um, thought I would show off the little series, we had talked about this in the past, I think, the uh, Scarlet witch and vision um i'd always kind of liked the way scarlet witch looked in the in the 90s cartoon comp and everything i was always kind of interested in her but really fell in love with scarlet witch with the new avengers movies and everything i really like miss olsen she does a great job portraying her so it really made other, me start looking into her other than her kind of like dropping that accent yeah what was up with that that's Infinity kind of Wars? weird that kind of irritated me because i always really actually liked her accent but in infinity wars it's pretty much gone. Yeah. So that was kind of weird. She's she's a very cool character in the mm -hmm. movies, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, and you know, I like I like the actor playing Vision. I always like following his work, so I was like, hey, there's Might an actual well Vision. Go with their comics. Yeah. So anyway, and um, I s s stumbled across these um, Secret Empires. This is Secret Empire Uprising number one, and to my knowledge, I think this is the only one. For Uprising? Uh-huh. Hmm. I haven't come across any other ones. Maybe they're trolling you like the uh, Deadpool ones. Maybe they are. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought this was really cool looking. You've got um, Black Widow here, and she's got all the heroes in her little web, and it just, it was just a, what, it was the cover that drew me to it. And so, I just thought that was really, really cool. A lot of these Secret Empire books that you've picked up, they really have cool covers, mm -hmm. though. It's like they yeah. go all yeah. out. Yeah, I know nothing about cover. the Secret Empire or anything like that. It was just the cover drew me to it, which, leading into that, this cover really drew me into it. And so now I'm actually looking for the rest of the Secret Empire. And there's a bunch of different Secret Empire lines, but this one is just the Secret Empire. 
Um, and it was, I thought it was very interesting looking because Scarlet Witch looked really cool and you've got Thor going on. And he's got his Vision. haircut. Yeah, he does have his haircut and everything. You've got Vision. It looks like he's got his axe now. Or I think it's, it's, it's either an axe or a, just a club because it might be an axe with it turned backwards. But the cover, anyway, the cover really, really drew me to it. And so then they had number seven, which you've got Black Widow and she's got um, Captain America and Spider-Man in her... Um, sights so it's like oh what's happening so anyway like i said this cover is what made me decide i think i want to check out this series and so i am having a little bit of issues finding issues <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i found and then i found this one and realized oh this is a completely different secret empire and then i am having that's when i learned that there's this is the the secret empire and then there's offshoots so I just, you know, again, covers always draw me in. They've always done that with video games or movies or whatever. Well, when the covers look as good as uh, yeah. a lot of these do, though, I mean, they're, you know, they're great. They are you know, really, really series, pretty but, art. You know, very nice looking covers. Yeah. So, very eye-catching. Definitely want you to pick up the books and start following the story. And I'm actually pretty interested in, in checking that one out, too, just to see uh -huh. how it goes. Well, and I have noticed as the covers go, because I've gotten some other ones, the little Hydra thing up here changes. The the earlier Secret Empires, because this is six and seven, but they started off with I think Captain America's Shield. And it slowly morphed into if you if you pay attention to to them, I don't have any of the earlier episodes issues up here because I wanted to show off what made me get into it. But uh it's the shield and then it just slowly morphs into the Hydra <laughs> symbol and gets darker and changes colors and stuff. So that's always interesting to pay attention to. Well, Little tidbits there. <laughs> well, guys, if you have checked out Secret Empire or any of these others, definitely let us know. Uh, and we always like to hear what you guys have picked up on your latest yeah. comic book pickups, uh, whether it's new stuff or whether you're going for like the old stuff, you know, filling in small gaps or anything. Yep. But we uh, we hope that you like the video. So give it a like. Yeah. We've got a notification bell. So hit that so you know when we have new videos coming out. Always putting new stuff out. Uh, so new subscribers, come on over. Yeah. Watch some new videos with us. Yeah, we've always got fun stuff popping up every now and again. Don't forget to uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram because we always like to throw up some pictures up there and let you know um, if we've got videos popping up. If, if YouTube doesn't let you know, I always try to let you know there or Tom let you know there. Uh, whichever one of us is is taking over at the moment, we take we kind of both share the the social media stuff going on. <laughs> so yeah, All let right, us well, know uh, what you think. Well, let's check out the Secret Empire. Maybe this is where uh, Captain America started saying "Hell Hydra." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Elijah. <gasps>